How did we get here? How did our society devolve into groups of people that are willing to throw around hate so easily? Why are so many not happy, unless they find a target in a group of people that are doing no one any harm? Marginalizing and discriminating against those people who only want to be accepted and treated equally, like everyone else. When did many in our community become those people? Attacking people because they are different. Attacking others who show acceptance and inclusiveness for everyone regardless of who they are. When did ridiculing and bullying individuals looking to live their authentic selves become acceptable? When did misinformation, lies, and falsified stories become acceptable as truth? When did the actions of a handful of people allow the redefining of what a symbol of inclusion means, to be twisted into one of hatred? Now we are electing Board of Education officials, who are supposed to be nonpartisan. To campaign with obvious partisan agendas? Individuals that publicly espouse and agree with sentiments that degrade and marginalize whole groups of their own constituency? These same elected officials who have been endorsed by, and accepted such endorsements, from groups that many see as hate groups. Who have themselves publicly made statements degrading these same groups of individuals? And now we can see the beginnings of those positions being pushed upon our schools just mere months after their election. Where district policies regarding politics, are being twisted and abused, in order to have LGBT flags removed from schools. Where community hate speech against those groups is greeted with smiles and thank yous. Where discrimination against a minority group is now acceptable and apparently encouraged, with the lack of disciplinary actions taken against those offenders. We have to do better as a community, as a society, and as decent human beings. We cannot tolerate or allow this lowest level of hatred and disgraceful behavior to continue, not only in our district, but anywhere. Wherever we find this behavior, we need to stand together, and fight to end it. We need to shine a bright light into these dark shadowy corners where this hatred thrives. And this is exactly what many brave community members, and the students as well, are doing right now. They refuse to allow this behavior to continue unchecked. Our society has progressed and evolved throughout our history, and they will not let a handful of small-minded, intolerant, and bigoted views, tear down centuries of progress. They refuse to quietly sit back as these voices attempt to regress our society, having us go backwards to a time, where groups that are still marginalized to this day, end up being treated even worse. The real majority of this community is waking up and seeing the evil and hatred that has been quietly creeping into our society. This is a battle that will take time, but one that they will not give up on. The safety and security of our children are at stake. The core of our humanity and how we treat each other, is at stake. These actions of discrimination can never be allowed to persist wherever it is found. We cannot allow our past to come back to haunt our future. And it is because of this deep love for their fellow men and women, their deep commitment to their humanity, and the soul of our society, that so many men, women, and children stood up to speak against this horrendous treatment of the LGBT community and those of color. I am here to tell you that everything is going to be alright, our future will eventually be a beautiful place. But many of us still need some training in order to shape and inhabit that future. We need to help those along, to teach them that we are all important in the fabric of life, and in the building of our future. Our differences help us see things clearer with different perspectives. Our challenges, spur us to innovate and help others less fortunate so that they can have better lives. We have the power to make our dreams become reality, but also our nightmares. Our future will be built on the battle of ideas in the present. We need to learn to direct our minds, to prevent dark psychological forces, from destroying us all. With every idea and change that we seek to make in our world, we must remember to always summon the sacred imperative. Let there be light. You and every living organism in existence overcame the massive improbabilities of life. This is how you will become the light of the world, by invoking the sacred imperative, together. Let there be light.